Good morning. It's the morning of July 25th, and I'm going to do a daily card pull for Tarot for Creatives. My name is Lady P, aka Patricia. This is Madly Creative Soul Tarot for Creatives. Thanks for joining me. So I've already shuffled, and I'm just going to pull a card. Wow! Yesterday we had a little struggle with Seven of Swords, and today we have the Five of Wands. Um, damn, this Leo moon should be allowing us to really invest in all these wonderful new thoughts and creative processes, but apparently we're still, we're still struggling. And sometimes the struggle is really internal. So I guess we're still struggling, damn it. So let's look at that. What's it say? We're not worthy of our new ideas. We're not conscious of the fact that we are getting in our own way. Um, we allow ourselves to get caught up in tiny little details that feel uh, like the stone in our shoe. It's a tiny pebble, but it's really uncomfortable to walk with it. But we make it out to be so much more like, now I can't walk. I can't do that because that happened. Um, hey, it's summer. We all want to take a break. So what I recommend is, I like to do this with myself too because sometimes it's so hot out or you do something and you want to like take a moment. So set a few things on your goals list to do today. Allow yourself to have breaks. Uh, congratulate yourself for whatever state steps you do take in your creative endeavors um, whatever they may be you know even if it's just making a call to place an order for something you need or rectifying an account because you have to deal with somebody on the phone and that's not your favorite thing that's like the but like the the stone in your shoe which is like oh my god I've got to deal with customer service or I've got to be the customer service today you know, I've got to deal with somebody who's not happy about something or I'm not happy about something. Um, don't make it be about that getting in the way of getting to your creating. Uh, remember that the creating part is really the cream on the top of the cake. Um, in order to be uh, somebody who is even making a living off of their creating, it can be mired in all of the day-to-day -day business stuff which can become overwhelming and absolutely feel like it's quenching, not quenching, but it's, 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 you know, diminishing that creative force within us because we have to deal with that day to day stuff. But remember you do this, whatever it is that you do, um, mind, body, or spirit, creativity, whatever it is, you do this so that you can really enjoy and share with everybody else that cream on the top, which is your creativity, which is whatever you bring into being. That's what you strive to be able to enjoy and be able to have in your life. Don't forget that. That's so important. That's the reason why you're here doing what you're doing, or for me, why I'm here with you today. So, sometimes we are our own worst enemy, and when I give these readings, I am really preaching to my own choir. So, all right, I want you to get out there and make and create and love. Love yourself. Self-care love, which means let yourself get back to business. Step by step. Bye.